Today I'm here at Disney's Animal Kingdom and I'm going to introduce you to my favourite park. Um, so I'm only going to show just the front entrance which is here and then Discovery Island which is the central part. There are actually um, several lands that make up Animal Kingdom. They include Dino Land USA, Asia, Africa and Pandora which is the newest addition here at Animal Kingdom. Um, the plan is to do separate videos on the different lands here in Animal Kingdom and the other parks. Um, but as I said, today is just a little bit of introduction to my favourite park. Not only is it my favourite park because of the animals, but it's also one of the easiest I find to be by yourself in. Some of the other parks can get a little bit lonely, you see a lot of families, friends, but here it's very much, you can be on your own and be pretty content with it. So I hope you enjoy. So I'm standing here right in front of the Tree of Life. There are actually over 300 handmade animals that cover this tree, which is really impressive. A little bit of Disney trivia here about the Tree of Life as well is that uh, in order to get a structure strong enough to withstand the potential weather here, they actually made it out of an old oil rig. It's the only thing they could find that would actually withstand potential hurricanes here in Florida. Animal Kingdom actually has one of the largest square footage of any park here in Walt Disney World. However, it actually has one of the lowest um, guest rates here. Just because the square footage does include the Kilimanjaro Safari attraction, which is extremely large, as you can probably guess. Um, but actually the tracks and areas for guests are a lot small. So. That is the end of my introduction here to Animal Kingdom. As I said, the plan is to do uh, a different video for each area of the park, so I'll go into a lot more detail and bits of trivia and other information that I've picked up along the way. So I hope you come back for me.